Hey kids, it's me, Teacher A. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to deal with permutations. Okay, let's start. Okay, what do you mean by a permutation? Okay, so it is an arrangement of objects in a definite order. So ito yung pagkakaayos-ayos lang ng mga bagay-bagay in order. Okay? Kapag binago mo yung pagkakasunod-sunod nila, ibang usapan na yon, ibang bagay na yon. Okay? Ibang arrangement na yon. What do I mean by that? For example, we have three letters. We have the letters R, E, D. Kapag ganun yung arrangement, we have the word red. Right? Pero pag iniba ko na yung arrangement, for example, D, R, E, hindi na red yun. It's dre. So, ganun yung permutation. Kapag binago mo yung arrangement, yung order, yung pagkakasunod-sunod ng mga objects, mag-iiba na yung ibig sabihin. Okay, let me give you the complete list of permutations of the three letters R, E, D. Ito siya. Yan. Okay, so we have six possible arrangements. Alright? And obviously, hindi lahat red ang basa dyan. Right? Okay. So, ganun ang permutation. So, always remember, in a permutation, the order matters. The order is important. Okay? Let's move on. Here, let me give you some examples of permutations para mas ma-establish ko sa inyo ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng permutation. Here. Okay? So, number one, passwords of your social media accounts. Okay, like FB and Instagram. What do I mean by that? Kunyari, ang password mo is 1, 2, 3. Okay? Tapos na mistype mo, ang na-type mo 1, 3, 2. Hindi ka makakapasok sa FB mo. Right? So, ganun ang permutation. Kapag nagkamali ka ng arrangement, iba na yung ibig sabihin ng isang arrangement na yun. Okay? What about number 2? Plate numbers of vehicles. Okay? For example, ang plate number ng isang vehicle ay A, B, C, 1, 2, 3. So, that's for one car. Kapag ang plate number naging A, C, B, 3, 2, 1, we're not pertaining to the same car. Ibang car na yon. So, you see, kapag iniba-iba natin yung arrangement ng letters and numbers dun sa plate numbers ng mga cars, okay? We're pertaining to different cars, different arrangements. Okay? So, permutation yun. Another example, ranks of top 5 students in your class. Okay? Siyempre, may top 1, top 2, top 3, top 4, top 5 in that rank. Hindi sila pwedeng magkapalit-palit. Okay? Hindi pa payag yung top 1 ninyo na siya yung nakalagay sa top 5. Okay? So, hindi pwede siyang magkapalit-palit. Kapag binago niyo yung arrangement, hindi na yun yung totoong top 5. Okay? Number 4, seating arrangement in a classroom. One ideal seating arrangement in a classroom is magkakahiwala yung maiingay. Okay? ba? Tapos kapag binago nyo yung seating arrangement na yun, alam ng teacher ninyo. Because that's a different arrangement. Okay? So that's why it's counted as a permutation. Okay? Hindi na yun yung seating arrangement na sinet ng teacher ninyo. Okay? And then lastly, we have um, class officers' positions. Okay? Yung president, vice president, secretary, treasurer, for example. Okay? Hindi nyo siya pwedeng pagpalit-palitin. Kasi kapag pinagpalit-palit ninyo yung mga tao dun sa position, hindi na yun yung elected class officers ninyo. Okay? So, I hope clear na sa inyo ang ibig sabihin ng permutations. Now, we proceed to different types of permutations and their corresponding formulas. Okay? So, here are some types of permutations. Okay, before we continue, can you give this video a thumbs up para mas marami tayong matulungang students like you? First type of permutation. Okay? Permutation of N different objects taken R at a time. So, pag permutation, sige, pwede nyo siyang isipin as arrangement. Okay? So, you're going to arrange um, objects. Okay? And merong N, eto, merong N available 
objects. And out of these N objects, kukuha lang kayo ng R. Or, pwede namang lahat ng N gagamitin ninyo. Okay, makikita nyo mamaya sa example. Again, kapag permutation, kapag binago natin ang order, okay, iba na yung ibig sabihin. Okay, and we are going to use this formula. Okay, actually our notation for the permutation is NPR. Okay, ito yung total number of objects available. Ito naman yung number of objects na ipipick ninyo, i-choose ninyo, or isi-select ninyo out of those N objects. Okay? Pwede rin P, N, R. And this is the formula to get the number of permutations. Okay? So, N factorial over N minus R factorial. Okay? I have a video about factorial notation. So, if you want to go back or to... I have a video on factorial notation. So, if you want to learn how to evaluate this expression, you may want to visit that video. Okay? Ilalagay ko yung link sa i button above. Alright? Okay. So, let me give you two examples. First example, 15 cars enter a race. In how many different ways could trophies for the first, second, and third place be awarded? Okay, bakit ito permutation? Okay, kasi yung first, second, third place, hindi siya pwedeng pagpalit-palitin. Okay, hindi pwedeng yung first place, gawin ko siyang third place. Okay, magagalit siya, syempre. Okay, kasi siya nga yung first, di ba? Okay, so kapag nagmamatter ang order, it is definitely a permutation problem. And here, we have 15 cars to choose from. Meron tayong 15 available cars. And out of 15 cars, tatlo lang ang pipiliin natin for the first, second, and third place. Okay? So that's why we have this. N is 15. We're going to use this formula. Okay? Your N is 15 and R is 3. So that's why we have 15 P3 which is equal to P15, 3. Okay? Tapos, ito yung factorial notation expression niya. Okay? 15 factorial divided by 15 minus 3 factorial. Okay? So, we have this. Right? Ang pinakamabilis na paraan para masolve ito without using a calculator is like this. Okay? Magsa-stop na kayo sa 12 factorial. Tapos, you don't expand this 12 factorial in the denominator. Okay? Para magka-cancel na siya. Okay? So, all you have to do is get the product of 15, 14, and 13. And you will get 2,730 ways. So, that's how you evaluate factorial notations. Okay? Let's have this second example. Okay? There are six people who are about to enter the cave in a single file. Ibig sabihin, in a line. Magpo-fall in line yung anim na tao. Okay? In how many ways could they arrange themselves in a row to go through the entrance? Okay? Bakit ito permutation problem? Okay? Kasi kunyari, um, yung six people, pangalanan natin siya as A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay? So, nauuna si A. Okay? Kapag inuna ko naman si F, okay? So, let's say we have F, E, D, C, B, A. Kunyari, ganun naman yung arrangement natin ng mga tao. Of course, you can see na ibang line yon, okay? Compare dun sa unang line na ginawa natin. Okay? We can also form a line by height. Okay? Diba usually ganun yung ginagawa kapag oh, fall in line. Find your height. Ganun, diba? Okay. So, definitely this is a permutation. And take note that this is an example of um, permutation of six different objects taken all at a time. Right? Kasi gagamitin natin yung anim na tao lahat. Okay? Unlike kanina, 15 cars, pero tatlo lang yung gagamitin natin. So, if you use the formula, we have this. Okay? Your N is 6. Your R is also 6. Okay? That's why we have this. 
6 factorial divided by 6 minus 6 is 0. Yeah, 0 factorial. Okay? And what is 0 factorial? It's 1. So it's 6 factorial divided by 1. And what is 6 factorial? 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Please try not to use a calculator. Okay? So that you can practice your arithmetic skills in preparation for um, taking college entrance exams in the future. Okay? Because they don't allow the use of calculators during entrance exams. Okay? If you do this, you'll have 720. Let's move on to our second type of permutation. This time, we have N objects, pero may magkakapareho. Okay? So, R1, there are R1 repeated objects, okay? R2 repeated objects, and so on. So, let's say we have R sub K repeated objects. Kapag may mga nauulit na objects, okay? This is how you compute for the permutations or the number of arrangements, okay? Bibilangin nyo kung ilan yung total number of objects, so that's N, and then bibilangin nyo kung ilan yung magkakapareho. Alright? Okay, let me give you two examples. First example, how many distinguishable permutations or arrangements are possible with all the letters of the word ellipsis? Okay? Distinguishable, it's in distinct. Okay? Kasi kunyari, itong L na to, pinagpalit ko lang to. Okay? ba? Ellipses pa rin ang mabubuo. So, hindi yun counted. Kasi, ellipses pa rin naman yung mabubuo. Okay? Kunyari, itong S na to. ba? Dalawa yung S. Pinagpalit ko sila. Pinagpalit ko lang sila ng position. ba? Ellipses pa rin ang mabubuo. O, hindi yun kasama sa distinguishable permutation. Okay? So, that's why we're going to use this formula kasi may magkakaparehong objects. Okay? So, using the formula, we're going to have this. Okay? 8 factorial kasi walong letters lahat ito. Okay? Kasama yung mga magkakapareho. If you count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Right? And then, itong tatlong 2 factorial na ito, ito yon. Yung unang 2 factorial, yan yung para sa letter E. Itong sunod na 2 factorial, para naman yan doon sa mga letter L. Okay? Kinocross ko para hindi tayo malito. Para alam natin na nagamit na natin siya, na bilang na natin siya. Okay? And then lastly, itong huling 2 factorial na ito, yan naman yung para kay letter S. Okay? So, isa lang naman ang letter I, isa lang din yung letter P. So, hindi natin kailang ilagay dito. Okay? And then, if we evaluate, okay, Ang 2 factorial, it's 2 times 1. So, it's 2. So, we can write 2 factorial as 2. So, then, 2, 2. So, we'll have this. Yung 8, and expand ko lang down to 1. And then, yung 2 factorial, ayan siya. 2 times 2 times 2. Okay? And we know that 2 times 2, 4. 4 times 2, 8. So, we can cancel this. Okay? So, ang kukunin nyo na lang, the product of this numbers. Okay? And you will get 5,040. Now, sabi niyo, teacher, huwag kaming gumamit ng calculator. Yes, as much as possible. Tapos, ganito ang technique ng pag-multiply kapag ganito kadami. Okay? Igugroup niyo siya. Like, sino bang mas madali dito? Ito. 6 times 5. Diba? It's 30. 6 times 5, it's 30. 30 times 7, it's 210. 210 times Four, it's 840. O, diba? It's a nice group. Okay? So, it's 840. Tapos, yung 840, i-multiply mo na lang sa 6. Kasi 3 times 2 times 1 is 6. And you will get 5,040. Okay? Huwag niyong gagawin yung, yung sunod-sunod. Like, 7 times 6, you get 42. 42 times 5, you get this, and then times 4, and then times 3, times... Okay, mahirap yun. Try to find perfect groupings of these factors. Kagaya ng ginawa ko kanina. Okay? Kasi mas madali yun. Okay? 6 times 5, 30. Times 7, 210. Times 4, 840. 
Okay? And then times 6, you will get this. All right? Okay. Let's have another example. Okay? Do you see this number? 348,838. May naulit na naman, right? Okay. So, do you imagine kapag pinagpalit ko itong magkatabing 8 na to? What do you get? The same number, right? 348,838. So, this is an example of permutation of n objects kung saan may mga na uulit na objects. Okay? So, ilan to? Six objects here, right? Okay, so this is going to be our formula. Okay, 6 factorial kasi anim to. Okay, bakit may 2 factorial? Kasi dalawa yung 3. Tapos 3 factorial because tatlo yung 8. Okay, tapos nag-iisa lang naman yung 4. So hindi na natin kailangang isulat yun. And then, 6 factorial, you may want to write it in its expanded form. 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay, yung 2 factorial, it's 2. Right? Ang 3 factorial, it's 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6. Okay? So, that's why we have this. Okay? Alin na magka-cancel? Magka-cancel out yung 6, right? Tsaka yung 2. Okay? So, you only get 5 times 4, 20, times 3, 60. Yeah? Okay. We now move on to the third type of permutation. Permutation or arrangement of n objects in a circular manner. Okay, this is what we call the circular permutation. You're going to use the formula for the circular permutation. Okay, at ito yon. See, it's just n minus 1 factorial. Okay, so let's have this example. Okay, find the number of different ways that a family of 8 okay, can be seated around a circular table with eight chairs. So, obviously, this is a circular permutation. So, ganyan lang yung siya compute Okay? It's eight minus one. Okay? That's seven. And then you'll have seven factorial. Okay? It's seven times six times five times four times three times two times one. Okay? Kamukha to nung example natin kanina. Okay? Ano yung suggestion ko without using a calculator? Okay? Wag yung gagawin yung 7 times 6, 42, 42 times 5, and then times 4, and then times 3. Okay. You try to group the factors. So, kanina ang ginroup ko itong 7, 6, 5, 4. Okay. Tapos itong 3, 2, 1 sila yung magkakagroup. Kasi ang 3, 2, 1, 6 to. Okay. Tapos itong 7, 6, 5, 4, ganito ko siya minultiply. 6 times 5, 30. 30 times 7, 210. 210 times 4, it's 840. And then I multiply 840 by 6. Okay? And then you will get 5,040. Let me give you some review questions. So, dapat confident na kayong sagutin ang mga questions na ito. Here. Question number 1. How do you determine if a situation or problem involves permutations? Madali lang, di ba? If the order of the objects matters. Okay? Second question, how do you calculate different permutations? Of course, you are going to use different formulas. Okay? So, depende kung ano yung um, given problem. Okay? Is it an arrangement or permutation of n different objects taken R at a time? Or is it a circular permutation? Or is it um arrangement of n objects with repeated objects? Okay, so you may want to list down all the formulas na available in solving different permutations. Okay, I think that's it. I hope you learned something from this video. Please don't forget to like this video, share this video to your friends, and please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.